Hey friends, okay, please disregard my garage mess and just act like you don't even see it in the background. It's not even there. I'm about to show you what Tara looks like the majority of the time, and then I'm gonna take you along with me as we transform her together into my camper van adventure vehicle. As you can see most of the time, I have the passenger seat clear. And I have to have at least two clear seats in the back for my kiddos so that me and my three kiddos can drive around. Now, I don't know if you can see back there the messy bed, but one of the reasons that I love my new setup so much is that if I have a short time between trips, I don't have to completely take down everything. I can just empty out the middle stuff pop the seats right up out of their stow and go and bam my three kiddos are back with me and we are doing our day-to-day -day stuff so this is what Tara normally looks like now I'm going to show you the transition process of how I turn her into my micro camper Okay, my friends, less than 60 seconds has passed since I checked in with you. And as you can see, we have our blank slate. Now, I am going to do a whole separate video on how I make my bed. So I didn't bother completely undoing it so that I could redo it for you guys. So just bear with me until I show you that video in the future. But this is my living space. So the next thing I'm gonna do is completely clean it out, vacuum, sweep it, and then I'm gonna lay down my quote unquote flooring. You can see I just use a couple of folded yoga mats and then I'll fill in the rest with rugs. I do plan on upgrading that in the future, but for now, I have no complaints. Now the last thing I load before I leave on a trip is going to be my fridge, which I'll set right here on this non-skin mat. I already have the wire ready to go. I do always keep my um, chair, rug, and table ready to go, and I always keep my car safety kit in here. And I don't really need to unpack because I can still load groceries or other things on this flat surface when my fridge isn't in there. I've also started loading these just in this little crack because I have found that when my fridge is in, which I'll show you later, it makes a good reflectix, just kind of adds a layer of heat, um, heat keeping off of power. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you get it. And then this is just my sheets, blankets, beach stuff, water shoes, extra towels, all of that, my emergency food storage. So I can keep that packed if I'm in between short trips. I normally just leave it as is and only take the fridge out and my bear spray. And then I'll load my bear spray towels and paper towels and wipes back in before I leave. Alrighty, so as you can see, this is why I'm not in a hurry to <laughs> get started today, although I am heading out this afternoon. Um, I have my, the rest of my major stuff loaded. I've got my storage unit in, my toilet with my trash can and the water supply behind it, my table. And my next step is going to be to put my clothing and shower bag away. I stow my shower bag under here. There you go. I apologize for the lighting. I know that it's definitely not ideal right now since it's storming, but as you can see, it stows underneath the seats very well. If I was bringing my clam, I would stow that under here as well across the length of the van. 
However, since I'm going to be stealth parking the next couple of nights, I'm not going to be able to use it, so it's going to stay at home base this time. All right, so as you can see, I have my fridge plugged in. I put my bear spray and my extra toilet paper in there. I have my paper towels up front, as, long as, as well as my wipes. Some spare Gatorade. I've got everything ready to go back here. So what I'll normally do when I'm in drive mode is just flip it up like that. And it just acts as an extra insulation layer so that my fridge doesn't have to work as hard and it seems to be helping. So that's my back while I'm driving. <clears throat> And then everything is all loaded up in here, all my clothing. I've got my Jackery plugged in so that as soon as my car's on, it can be charging. I've got my fridge plugged in where it'll stay plugged the whole time. I really like how this setup just keeps the cords out of the way so that I'm not tripping all over them like I was in my other setup. Um, I've got my fan clipped up here for now, but I'll stow it in there when I get going. Um, so yeah, we are ready for another adventure. And I know I've shown you in my tours before, so definitely check there for a more detailed look. I didn't even bother cleaning super well up here because I know it's going to be exactly like that again this evening when I get up there to put my shoes there. So I've got my screen in each door to put on as soon as I'm parked with my shower shoes nearby, my day bag. I have this while I'm driving up here and then I'll switch it to my fanny pack or hiking bag when I'm hiking. I've got Cami tucked in. I have my <laughs> emergency snacks for easy access while driving with my main snack bag and dry food down there my two three liter waters with my one liter water my quickie shade although as you can see i have my front weather tech with an easy grabbing access to water tea i'm gonna stow that before i start driving as well but that's pretty much my front seat while i'm driving and there you have it so as you can see, it's a super simple process having a no-build conversion like I do. And you can see how quickly it goes from regular minivan to ready to go on an adventure, which I am right now actually getting ready to back out and head on to um, one that you'll be seeing soon. And I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I hope it showed you how easy it is to go back and forth especially if you're able to convert your third row into your bed because like i do it's so easy to just take out those few items that are currently in the main living cabin and um pop those seats up and be ready to use it as a daily driver again in fact it takes me less than 15 minutes Ask me how I know, not me forgetting that I forgot to convert it back into a van when I had to pick the kids up from school and scrambling so I wouldn't be late. But honestly, it's like 10, 15 minutes and I can fit my three kids and me safely in seats ready to go um, from being a camper. It takes longer to get it into camper version, but even that is less than 45 minutes to get it converted, loaded up, and ready to head out. I do pre-chill and pre-load my fridge before I load it in, and I showed you how I rig up my Jackery so that it's always charging. Um, as the wise van lifers say, <laughs> the AVCs always be charging. Um, so whenever my car is running, I take advantage of that power to juice up the jackery. Anyways, like I was saying, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or if I'm, um, if there's anything that I didn't discuss, please drop it in the comments. I'd be happy to give you more info. Also, I will be sure to link in the end card here or here. Um, 
my van tour so that you can get all of the details and see everything more up close. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you next time.